When working for the cross choke, you will encounter times where the space is too tight to drive your lead hand in. At first I will be persistent, but once I realize that the space may be too tight, he will likely be making a mistake in another area by placing his elbow too far inward. I will take this opportunity to trap his own arm on one side with my entire body weight. Though there are many attacks from this position, this technique can have some application in taking my opponent's back when working for the cross choke. At the heart of this technique is to move my weight to the side and roll in with my body to trap his arm. I move my body as far left as I can so his elbow catches the side of my stomach and then center up with him with a heavy upper body. Although I do reinforce this movement by pushing his arm with mine, the rolling motion of my body is what's getting the job done. Once in the position, I will focus my entire weight onto his arm. Once I have trapped his arm, I'm ready to go for a wrist lock submission. With my head on the ground in a base identical to the cross choke, I grab his wrist. I reinforce this grip with my other hand and then pull his hand downwards until I get the tap. Here is a clearer view of what is happening when my head is on the ground. Both hands are folding his wrist downwards. Because his elbow is trapped against my body, his arm has nowhere to go.